everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be creating this makeup look. So, I saw this makeup look posted by Kylie Jenner when she was at Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker's wedding and I just thought she looked so elegant but at the same time she still had that like grungy 90s vibe to her look and I just absolutely loved it and I wasn't gonna recreate it because I thought it's gonna be done by so many people but then last night I thought you know what I really do want to have a go at creating it myself because I just thought she looked so beautiful um, I'll show you a picture in case you don't know what I'm talking about but it's this makeup look here it's basically a really 90s grunge smoky eye winged type of thing. It's just absolutely stunning. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I recreated that. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. To start off the eye look, I'm gonna first be taking the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, if you can see it. And I'm gonna be taking this first shade here, and I'm just gonna pop that all over the lid just to set it because with this makeup look the majority of the eye makeup is actually a very matte cream color so that's what we're gonna do then taking the same palette I'm gonna take this eyeshadow here which is called good vibes and it's one of my favorite as you can probably tell <laughs> it's very much well loved um, so I'm gonna take that using the same brush and it looks like Kylie has just got a little bit of warmth running through um, sort of like her eyebrow here and then a little bit in the crease so I'm just gonna take a little bit of color and I'm blending it up towards the brow and then into the crease And this will just help to make the look look not look so flat and just one dimensional because the attention really is on the smoky part of the eye. For the next part, we're gonna do a winged liner to start off with and then we're gonna focus on blending it out. So to do that, I'm gonna be using the NYX Epic Wear Epic Wear Waterproof Liquid Liner. So I'm just gonna do a basic liner and then smudge it out and hopefully it'll look a little bit like Kylie's. <laughs> So you really want to focus on keeping the eyeliner quite thin and elongated. So I've done it right into my inner corner and once we've done the rest of our makeup, I will extend it slightly. And then I've kept the wing quite straight and kind of feline rather than going up too far because Kylie has a very almond shaped eye. But I wouldn't worry too much about getting the liner perfect at this point because we are gonna go over with a black eyeshadow and smudge it all out. Um, but just try and keep it as thin and as winged out and feline as you can. So once you've applied your eyeliner, you want to wait for it to be completely dry before we start smudging it. Um, the colour that I'm going to be using to create that gorgeous smoky effect that she has um, is this shade here which is called Goodnight and it's from the Vive The Essential palette. So it's just this gorgeous colour here. And I am going to start because it looks like from the pictures it looks like she's gone a little bit dark in here but then the main focus is on the outer part of the wing so I'm going to start by just pressing a little bit onto the inner corner and then using my brush from earlier just to blend that out slightly I think the thing I love about this look is it, the eyes really look really worn in and not, I mean they do look perfect because the way that 
the makeup artist has done the makeup is absolutely flawless but I just love that the eyeshadow is not absolutely perfect it's a little bit more grungy which I guess is appropriate for um, the wedding they were attending so I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now so I've just literally I've not been too careful with it just literally smudged that dark shade onto the out onto the inner corner and then I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing so I'm gonna layer this over the top of the liner And gradually blend it out. You may want to take a smaller brush as well. Just to really get into the fine areas. And then once I place the eyeshadow where I want it, I'm literally just blending it in. Just smudging out that colour. Again, this look is not absolutely perfect and I think it will look good messy so I really wouldn't worry about getting it spot on so let's do the other side and hopefully we can make it look the same <laughs> so same thing again just layering the shadow over the top of the liner And then gradually blending it out. I'm then just going to take a baby wipe and a little bit of the Garnier Micellar Oil Infused Cleansing Water. And I'm going to clean up this edge. Because Kylie's is super defined. I'm then just taking the Inglot gel liner in number 77 and I'm going to align my inner waterline. I'm then going to take that same good night shade from the Vive palette and I'm going to lightly start smudging out the lower lash line. Again, don't worry about being perfect at this stage because the way I do my smoky eyes is I tend to do my skin afterwards so it gives me a chance to clean up the underneath of my eye. So I would just worry about getting a nice blend at this stage. Lashes are JLG Cosmetics Lashes in the style Dolly. And today we're going to be mixing two foundations. So we're going to be taking the L'Oreal True Match and also the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. And then for concealer, we're taking the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade 7. And I'm just going to clean up the shape that I want under the eye. And then just taking a little bit of that good vibe shade from the beginning and I'm gonna blend it underneath the lash line just so we've got a seamless blend. 
And then we're setting with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I can never remember the name of it. <laughs> I'm then just going to bronze using my Give Me Some by MAC. So I'm taking a bigger brush to bronze this time because usually I would use my smaller Morphe brush. But today, because she's got quite a soft, like the rest of the look is quite soft, I wanted to keep the bronzer the same. And I'm going to take a little bit of the Rare Beauty Liquid Blusher in the shade Happy. And I'm literally just going to dab a little bit on. Just to give us a bit of colour. I'm then going to highlight with that um, lighter eyeshadow which we used at the beginning. And I'm literally just going to dust that onto the high points because I don't want anything too shiny because she's definitely not that shiny. She's actually quite matte. So for lips, to create that kind of very dark ombre 90s look, I'm going to be taking the shade Cork for my lip liner by MAC. And then I'm going to colour in my lips slightly. just to give us something to blend into once we apply our lipstick. And then the lipstick I'm gonna be taking is Cherish by MAC, which is just a lovely nude, fleshy nude shade. So this is the finished makeup look. So I'm gonna go away and try and mimic Kylie's hairstyle as best I can. I do have a feeling I might have gone a little bit smokier on the eyes than Kylie did, but I don't mind because that does actually suit my eye shape a lot better than a soft, like a more subtle smoky eye does. I don't know, I have hooded eyes, so I just find smoky eyes work well for me when they're quite heavy. Um, but I'm gonna go away, sort my hair out, and then I'll be right back. So you're gonna have to pretend that my fringe isn't as sweepy as it is because I know Kylie Jenner's is kind of like pulled to the side and it's kind of like up, but with mine, I had already forced my part in into this position. So this is as good as it's gonna get. But to be fair, I quite like it. Like I'm looking in the viewfinder now and I'm thinking, do you know what? This actually looks really fucking chic. And it's not my usual style either. Like to go with a lip this dark is, not my usual style and to have a matte eye is not my usual style and I'm loving it to be fair. I love it, I think it looks so pretty, so different, just a really nice twist on a classic smoky eye but making it like more relevant and more fun, I don't know. I'm really happy with it. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one and you found it a little bit helpful. As always, if there is anything you wanna see on this channel, please just leave me a comment down below, video suggestions and all that good stuff. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.